pulled out the camera. I'm hunched over because my tripod is missing and the camera's too heavy to put on any other tripod. So I have it mounted on some in case you're curious. So today I'm going to show you guys my dinner, mainly because it's super cheap. I got 50 cent plantain, $1 avocado, and 99 cent can of black beans. Oh, and corn. I got corn as well. So I'm going to make that with some rice and some sofrito. And I'm so excited for you guys to see how it turns out. And let me know if you guys try it in the comments below. To begin, we're going to start with one can of black beans. In the black beans, we're going to add one third cup of sofrito. We're also going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of sazon. And then we're going to add salt and pepper. Once you have that all in there, you can go ahead and give it a mix. So next, we're going to start by making the white rice. You're going to add some olive oil so the rice doesn't stick. Then we're going to add two cups of rice and two cups of water. So this is a little trick that my father showed me to make sure I have enough water for the rice. So I dip my finger in, the tip of my finger should touch the rice and the water should be right at the first crease of my finger. Then you can add one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and mix everything together. Once that's done, you can put a lid on it and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna move on to cutting the plantains. You can cut them any which way you want. Once those are cut, you can take some oil. I'm choosing to use Vegan Butter by Earth Balance. Once you let that melt for a little bit, you can go ahead and add your plantain. After 15 minutes, I go ahead and check on the rice, and as we can see, it's bubbling, but it's not quite ready. So my beans were practically ready, and then I realized I forgot to add the cup of corn. After a couple minutes, you can go ahead and flip the plantain. I like mine to be dark brown, but that's all up to you. 10 minutes later, the rice is finally done, and everything's ready to plate. So this recipe was super simple. You can get so creative with it. You can add tofu, you can add seitan, you can add anything that you want to it. If you do end up trying this recipe, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.